Hey, Daryl, I guess first, first off, <laughs> is your shoulder okay? What's what's going on? Nothing. You just a little sore? Or? Nope. <laughs> okay. Nothing wrong with me. Perfectly fine. And, and then could you both talk about that play where uh, you lobbed it and Daniel, it wasn't a dunk exactly, I guess it was sort of a land. Could you both talk about that play? That That, that was obviously um, a big play. To start that off, that was a dunk. Uh, second, uh, I just found him on the roll. Uh, it was open all night. I kind of didn't see it until the second half when he came to me and told me. Um, that's that's something that I think we should do more often because he's open. And uh, it's hard to guard when you got a guy that athletic and then when you got a guard coming off that can score, it's just – it's hard to guard it. Talk about it from your uh, – Yeah, um, backing up what D4 said, it is hard to guard. I mean, I've been doing pick and roll all my life pretty much. That's basically what my high school team was based off of. <laughs> but, um, I mean, we – <laughs> when he threw the lob, I mean, I just had to go get it. That's pretty much what they tell me when they throw the lobs to me. So. Have you had a ball to a victory lap like that before on that kind of shot? Hey, hold on right here. Let's go right here. Go ahead. You guys, this was, it looked like a very physical game, especially late in the game, but you guys won the paint 34 points to 14. Was that something you knew you could attack these guys from the get-go? Was that part of the game plan? Yeah, because the presence on the inside, I mean, we were pretty much unguardable on the inside. So we just had to make a game plan to get it, get the ball on the inside. Our coaches say inside out. So, yeah. I guess for either of you guys, the energy that Darius brought, I guess his first time in the starting lineup, what did, what did you guys make of his play? Uh, I think he played good. It's probably his best game all year. Uh, brings a lot of energy. Uh, plays like it's his last game every time. He's He's a dog. So I gotta give it to him. He played. He played awesome tonight. Yeah, I mean, that day he's an energy guy. I mean, I told him. I, I walked up to him before the game. I said, since this is your first time starting, you gotta go out. You gotta give it all. Give it your all. You gotta just go out. Give it your all. Leave it all on the court, and that's what he did. Daryl, you were coming off the bench. What was your mindset? Thanks. You guys were up by 18, and then they, they went ahead by six. You know, that's a tough thing to deal with. A lot of teams might crack. They're not. What, what, what was your reaction when you lost the big lead, and then what allowed you guys to, to you know, keep it together there at the end and pull out the win? I was surprised when we lost the lead because um, <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention to the score. I was, like, into the game. And then um, I look up, and, you know, the, the lead changed. And then we came back. I mean, that, we just had to get back into it mentally. And we just had to, you know, get a W. Darryl, what did you think about that? Um, they went on a run. They haven't. They didn't go on a run the whole game, so we knew it was coming at one point in time. It's just their run came at the perfect time. Um, we had some some turnovers that led to them scoring, and you know we just had to stay together. We stayed together, got one more stop at the end, and we knew it was gonna come out with a win. Just how big was that at home? Because if you guys lose that, you're on four going to Florida. I mean, how, how big a win was that for you guys to come back and, and pull it out? It was big. We wasn't thinking about the record. Um, we was just thinking about getting back to playing how we was playing at the beginning of the season, getting that energy back that we had with, that the fans was talking about, like, all year. Um, tonight was very big for us. I think it brought us closer together. Um, you know, we're having fun in the locker room. We're having fun on the floor. And I think if we play like we played tonight on the defensive end, we'll, we'll be OK. Yeah, uh, both guys, uh, Jerry, you just kind of mentioned it. Was that the best man-to-man D y'all played? Uh, especially start of the game, y'all really got after him, I thought. Uh, it can be better. Uh, I'm never going to say it was just good. You know, it's always room for improvement. So, But we did play good defense tonight. I can't I can say that. I mean, yeah, we stepped it up a notch on defense. We play defense better than what we usually play. But like Daryl said, it's uh, room for improvement. Darryl, you had eight assists. And I, I think you've had that before, too. Uh, you're, 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 you're a sister way up this year. Just how do you feel about the playmaking you've had I want you to know, really? Bob, it's going to be one day I come in here and you're going to say, Daryl, you had a double-double. What do you think about that? <laughs> I'm going to get that double-double. But um, uh, I, just, I just like showing people that I can do more than scoring. Uh, I think I have a, a full game. Uh, I can rebound, I can pass, I can score. And tonight I just had to show that I can pass the ball. I had to find the team, my teammates that were open and they made big shots. So without them, I wouldn't have eight assists. So big shout out to my teammates.
what do you think about his his assists Give really today and all year? I mean, <laughs> Daryl's a good passer, and he said he tells me before every game, if I'm open, he's gonna dime me, and he, he tells me after every game, I'll be diming you. So, I tell him if he don't shoot it, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs>